guys welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna have some fun with some marbles I've got this cute little frog mold and I'm sure you guys have seen it before most of you probably have it but what I want to do is we're gonna shove him full of marbles but first we are going to paint some mica powder in his little hands and feet now I don't know if I'm, I'm sure you guys have all seen the alcohol and mica powder trick before and it's great and I love it don't get me wrong but it's really difficult on these little molds that kind of have it's not straight across right it goes down and it curves up and it's all over the place so when you're dealing with something wet it doesn't necessarily work now the rest of you are probably like well why don't you just dry dust it on and I could very easily I could and, and you can do but if you do that then there's the mess to clean up and I don't want to clean up a mess like I just don't so this is a lot neater especially if you only want it in certain areas it's a lot neater to kind of do it this way and I can never seem to get it cleaned off like I watch some of these other youtubers and they clean it off and it's like it just comes off like all oh so perfectly for them and I sit here and I struggle with it to get it to come off and then it just doesn't so I don't want to do that but I was fighting with this arm and this one in particular before I got smart and I will show you what I did here in a moment but the little his little toes like I couldn't get the powder to stay up on there I tried going in with a little bit like a, a thicker paste and it just it wasn't setting I'd get it up there and then it just run down again because you know alcohol is liquid and and whatever and then doing its arm it kind of goes down in a curve and it would just run in one spot and I'd put it up there and it just fall back down again so finally after fighting with this which seems like forever and I mean it was look we're like two and a half minutes into it and I'm still working on the same stupid thing and this is <laughs> twice the speed so we're like five, really five minutes into this video and I'm still working on one arm. But I got smart. And after I had kept fooling and fooling and fooling with this, and I was like, there's got to be a better way. Like, there, there really has to that I can do this. And then I realized, wait a minute, I just need it to dry, right? Because once it dries, it, it's it's on there and it goes back to kind of like the dust powder form. I just need to dry it. So I got my heat gun and I kind of went over the spot that I needed it to stay. And I get my heat gun and I dry it just for a few seconds. Just, just real quick. And it works. Like it really works. This is where I figured it out. Oh, I was so happy. It stayed where I wanted it to stay. And I'm like, I have sat here for like, you know, seven, eight minutes now trying to do this on one arm, getting it to stay there. And I could have just done this. Now, you do need to be careful because once it is dry, it turns back into the powdered form. So you can knock it loose, like everything that you've just done. So you don't want that to happen. You literally, like, 10 seconds over it real quick. Not long enough to, like, burn your molds or your hands or any of that nonsense. Just super quick, just to dry in those stupid areas where maybe it's running and you can't get it to stay or whatever. Or, like, on the toes where it kept wanting to fall down, like, where the thickness of the toes are for him. That's all I had to do. It's perfect. And then I was able to get so much more done so much faster. It's great. So on those difficult molds that aren't flat that you just need it dry real quick, just take your heat gun and dry it. And I know you're like, okay, this seems obvious or I've been doing this forever. Well, I never thought of it. I've never seen anybody do it before. I thought it was brilliant. So I thought I'd pass it along to you guys that, you know, you can do it too and it dries fast and then you don't have to worry about it. And again, yes, I know that you can do it with dry mica powder and it works fine too, but not all molds can, you know, like when you're doing them, you don't always want to use the dry powder method. Plus, I, I feel like sometimes doing it with the alcohol, you can kind of cake that color on thicker and it, you get a 
better color. At least that's how I feel because this was just regular mica powder that I used. It wasn't color shifting or anything like that. And it comes out like super vivid when all I did was pl pour clear uh, resin into it. So there's that. Anyway, so I've got my Nick Pro resin mixed up. And all I'm doing now is I'm just going to add a little bit of the Marabou uh, Rainbow Alcohol Ink just to give it a little bit of shimmer. I did run it through my Resinaire's airless machine just to make sure that there are no bubbles in it. And I think I put that through for like nine minutes, something like that, uh, just to get make sure that they're all out because I want it completely, completely clear, no bubbles. We know how I mix. I didn't want none of that. So mixing this up and now it's time to put in these marbles. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to pour a little bit of the resin in just to get up kind of to his eyeballs in here. And then I'm going to start attaching my mar- or not attaching. I'm going to start throwing my marbles in there. And after I throw them in, then I'm just going to kind of maneuver them around a little bit to make sure that they're kind of like shoved in the leg, shoved up in the head. I'm not like... <sighs> I was trying to kind of, because it's got like, I think three different colors, four different colors, blue, orange, green, and yellow. And I was trying to get the colors to not all be right next to each other, but it was annoying me. So it just kind of, however they went in, they went in. The only thing that I didn't want is I didn't want them to come up over top of the mold. So I do have to fiddle with them for a little bit afterwards just to make sure that they're not coming up too high and then I'm slowly very very slowly pouring the resin in so it kind of just makes sure that it goes around all of the marbles and everything now I could have mixed it into or mixed the marbles into my resin just to make sure that they were completely completely coated but I didn't want to do that because I really wasn't sure at the beginning how many marbles I would need. And I, I, I just didn't want to do it. So this is the way we're doing it. And then I'm going to very carefully manipulate the resin into all of his little hands and toes and all the fingers and all that good stuff. Just to make sure that everything is covered and I've got resin everywhere. And I'm being very, very careful not to dislodge that mica because, again, it does turn back into powder form. It doesn't stay like a paint kind of consistency once the alcohol has evaporated. So I don't want to knock it loose. And I'm just ever so carefully doing it. And then I realize that it's just better if I just kind of lift it up and drip it into each one of his fingers and toes because it, it was just too easy to knock that mica powder loose and I after all <laughs> all the time it took me to paint it on there that was the last thing I wanted and then that's really it for this like this is a quick not one of my tedious ones that you guys love to say that I love so much it, it, it's not this time I really just wanted to kind of do the marble thing I hadn't done it before so I kind of wanted to do that and kind of see how it worked out. And I thought you guys would like to know the little trick that I found with the heat gun. But yeah, that's that's basically it on this one, guys. We're going to let this thing dry and see what we get. And hopefully we won't have any bubbles in there since I did use my resiner's machine. But yeah, so we're just going to let him dry up and see what we get. I do apologize for all the sniffles and the weirdness of my voice. I, my allergies, this one is really, it's, it's kicking me really, really hard. So yeah, I'm still trying to get over it. Okay, so here we are 24 hours later. Now it's time to demold this baby and see how it works out. And I, I did get some mica. Now that wasn't on the actual frog himself. That was just what was on my mold that I got onto my fingers. So I just wiped that off real quick. And now my resin where his little toes are is still a little bit bendy. So I am being careful demolding those because I don't want to kind of like 
rip them off or deform them too much by pulling too hard. And, you know, we're coming. It's a little tricky around like his, not tricky, but you kind of got to demold him in stages. You've got to kind of get his thighs out of there and then work on his upper arms before you can take out his head. But it, he comes out easy enough and it is a cute little mold. I like this guy. And it's honestly, it's a great mold for leftover resin too. Like I have a bunch of frogs that I've made just out of my leftover bits and pieces and they turn out really neat looking. So here he is. I like him a lot. I think he's cute. I love the, the blue hands and the blue feet. Now I could have gone and done his entire leg, but I didn't want to. I just really wanted to be kind of concentrated on his arms and then just like the toes area of his feet. And I'm just cleaning off kind of like the overspill that I got from when I put the resin on in between his little fingers. And yeah, then we're going to give him some eyeballs and that's going to be a wrap on this one. So I've got some really, really cute videos. Well, I've got a cute video coming up for Thursday that is, it's looking pretty, pretty cool. And then Saturdays is going to be amazing if it works out right which you know fingers crossed it does so make sure you tune in for those ones that's a wrap on this one guys like subscribe share all that good stuff i will catch you guys in on thursday for the next one love you bye